Will Chelsea get back to winning ways, or will Aston Villa get the job done at Stamford Bridge? Watch until the end of this preview to hear all of my thoughts on tomorrow's match. Hello people, welcome to my channel, welcome to another video, this is my Chelsea vs Aston Villa preview for the game which will be taking place tomorrow evening at Stamford Bridge in the Premier League with kickoff at 7.30pm UK time. So what I'm going to do for you guys in terms of this preview is that firstly I'll be giving you guys the team news concerning both sides and as always with these previews I'll be giving you guys the team news concerning the home side first and in the case of tomorrow's match that will be Chelsea. I'll then be giving you guys my lineup based on the team news in which I'm going to give you. I'll also be giving you guys my four things in which I believe the Chelsea first team need to do against Aston Villa tomorrow evening and lastly I'll be giving you guys my score prediction along with Charlie Nicholas score prediction and some of Google's probabilities. So without further ado, let's get straight into this preview. So kicking things off with the Chelsea team news, there are two stories concerning the Chelsea first team and the first one concerns Tammy Abraham. And this story explains that Tammy Abraham missed out on Chelsea's defeat to West Ham United on Saturday, but Frank Lampard has said the club's top scorer may be fit to return for this game. That's good news for us, but that is the first story concerning the Chelsea first team for you guys. The second story concerning the Chelsea first team concerns Callum hudson Adoy, Ross Barkley, Antonio Rudiger and Ruben Loftus-Cheek. And this story explains that Callum hudson Adoy made his return to first team action in that match against West Ham with a 20 minute cameo while Ross Barkley and Antonio Rudiger are edging closer to fitness but Ruben Loftus-Cheek is still sidelined. So that is it for the Chelsea team news. Moving straight on to the Aston Villa team news now, there are also two stories concerning the Aston Villa first team and the first one is to do with Frederick Gilbert and Anwar El Ghazi and this story explains that Frederick Gilbert will sit out Villa's trip to London after he picked up his fifth yellow card of the season against Manchester United on Sunday while Anwar El, El Ghazi, who was forced off in that game, may also miss out. So that is the first story concerning the Aston Villa first team for you guys. The second story concerning the Aston Villa first team is to do with Jed Steer, Keenan Davis and Jota. And this story explains that Jed Steer and Keenan Davis are both missing with long-term problems, but Jota may return after more than two months out with a hernia injury. And hernia injuries are horrible, to be honest. I hope he, do I hope he does return because injuries like that can actually end your career but yes that is it for the team news concerning both sides short and sweet some good news for both sides especially us like i said in, in my review of the game against um, west ham united we really missed tammy abraham so let's hope that he's fit but we'll just have to see but that is it for the team news concerning both chelsea and aston villa Now for my lineup, and as always, starting off with the formation. Now I've gone with a 4 3 3 because both Chelsea and Aston Villa have used it for the majority of the season so far, and I believe that the 4 3 3 is the formation in which Chelsea work the best in. So that is exactly why I have gone with a 4 3 3. But in terms of the personnel in which I've gone with, I've gone with Kepper in goal, I've gone with a back four from right to left of Rhys James, Kurt Zuma, Fakira Tomori and Cesar Azpilicueta. I've gone with a midfield three of Jorginho, N'Golo Kante and Mateo Kovacic and I've gone with a front three from right to left of Christian Pulisic, Tammy Abraham and Callum hudson Odoi. So that is the lineup that I've gone with. Yes, I didn't go with Mason Mount because mm -hmm. I believe that Mateo Kovacic has been playing mm -hmm. better than him in recent games. Sorry if if um, you heard the vibrations, I just got a message, I forgot to turn my Wi-Fi off. But yes, I firmly believe that Mateo Kovacic has been playing better in our recent games than Mason Mount has been. But if Mason Mount starts, then I would be happy because, of course, every player deserves a chance to redeem themselves or um, put in better performances than they have been in previous games. But yes, that is the lineup that I've gone with. Let me know what your lineups are in the comment section below. And as always, I will do my very best to respond. But here is a graphic showing you guys the players and the formation that I have gone with. Voila. <laughs> now.
Now for my four things in which I believe the Chelsea first team need to do against Aston Villa tomorrow evening. The first thing in which I believe the Chelsea first team must do against Aston Villa tomorrow evening is that they need to stop their keepers from receiving the ball in dangerous positions. Wesley, Trezeguet, Jack Grealish, John McGinn, the list goes on. We need to stop all of them from receiving the ball in dangerous positions because if we don't, then we will most likely allow them to put the ball in the back of our net because in some of our recent games, most notably against West Ham United on Saturday, where we of course lost by one goal to nil, um, we allowed Pablo Fornals to receive the ball in the left attacking midfield position. We then allowed Aaron Cresswell to make a brilliant overlapping run and then receive the ball so he can cut inside and then fire a beautiful curling shot into the bottom corner. There are two things wrong with this. Well, two things. I, I say two things. I mean three things. The first thing that was wrong with that, we should not have allowed Pablo Fornals to receive the ball in that position in the first place. The second thing, we should not have allowed um, Aaron Cresswell to cut inside. The third thing that was wrong with um, that goal that we conceded on Saturday against West Ham United was that neither Tomori or Zuma went to block the shot. Those are the three things that were wrong with um, Saturday's goal. And that those are... Those are sub-reasons as to why I believe that we need to stop their key players from getting the ball in dangerous positions. Because they do have players who can cut inside, they do have players who can shoot from outside the box, and they do have players who are good when it comes to combination play. So we need to stop their key players from getting the ball in dangerous positions. And that's the first thing in which I believe the Chelsea first team must do against Aston Villa tomorrow evening. The second thing in which I believe the Chelsea first team need to do against Aston Villa tomorrow evening is that we need to take long shots. Now this is purely based on the fact that Aston Villa could sit back and play a pragmatic game because of course West Ham United did it, a few other teams did it against us this season and they ended up getting wins. Manchester United did it, West Ham United did it on Saturday. I can, I can pick out a few other games where we've lost and we've had um, the other team or the opposition sit back and camp in their own half. So yes, um, we need to take long shots because of course it's not guaranteed that we're going to work our way into the box with um, quick passing or um, we're going to pass them to death and put and walk the ball into the back of the net. It's not, it's not guaranteed. It's never guaranteed. So that is exactly why I believe we need to take long shots. And that is the second thing in which I believe the Chelsea first team need to do against Aston Villa tomorrow evening. I hope that made sense by the way. The third thing in which I believe the Chelsea first team need to do against Aston Villa tomorrow evening is that we need to move the ball quicker than we did against West Ham United. Against West Ham United we moved the ball very slowly and it was very frustrating to watch but that is not the sole reason as to why I believe we need to move the ball quickly. We need to move the ball quickly so we give ourselves a greater chance of making our way into the box because if we pass the ball slowly then we're allowing the opposition um, we're allowing our opposition to get back into their shape and of course that's not going to help us when when we need to score goals because right now i believe we need to we need to um, get back to winning ways so that's exactly why i believe we need to move the ball quicker but yes that is the third thing in which i believe the chelsea first team need to do against aston villa tomorrow evening and the fourth and final thing in which i believe the chelsea first team must do against aston villa tomorrow evening and this one is sort of an elaboration on my first point but this point in which i believe we, this thing in which i believe the chelsea first team need to do against aston villa tomorrow evening is that i believe we need to press in an organized fashion i hope that made sense by the way um, yes we need to press in an or we need to press in an organized fashion because in some of our recent games we've pressed wildly and we've added and we've ended up being um we've ended up having the opposition walk through us and get chances on goal we cannot allow that to happen against Aston Villa because, like I said earlier on in this video, we need to stop their key players from getting the ball in dangerous positions. And um, I firmly believe that defending starts from the striker. So if the striker presses the back line and everyone else goes with the striker, then we'll, we'll have a greater chance of stopping the ball from getting to the... We, we'll have a greater chance of stopping the ball from getting to the opposition, opposition forwards because... Um, that would increase. That would also increase the chances of our, um, the opposition forwards being offside. But those are the four things in which I believe the Chelsea first team need to do against Aston Villa tomorrow evening. I do apologise for stuttering. I do have a very nasty cold, so forgive me if you cannot hear some of the words in which I am saying. 
But yes, those are the four things in which I um, believe the Chelsea first team need to do against Aston Villa tomorrow evening. Let me know what your four things are in the comment section below. And as always, guys, I will do my very best to respond. Now getting straight into the last section of this preview, which is of course the prediction section. And starting off with Charlie Nicholas's score prediction, he has actually been kind to us and gone with a 2-1 Chelsea win. Yes, you heard me correctly. The reason why he has done so is because he believes that Chelsea have had the stumble that we've been predicting would come. A lot of players are not getting the game time they want, but he needs the youngsters in the squad to perform. We've not seen much of Callum hudson Odoi recently, while Mason Mount and Tammy Abraham have had a couple of knocks to deal with. This tells, you, this tells you how the squad is being stretched. Chelsea will be up and down for the remainder of the season in my opinion. Meanwhile, Aston Villa impressed at Old Trafford and that is, exactly, that is exactly where you want Jack Grealish to be playing. I want him just off the left and attacking the defence. To be honest, I think Aston Villa are better than the table suggests but I cannot trust them defensively and I for that reason think that Chelsea will edge this one. So that is exactly why Charlie Nicholas has gone with a 2-1 Chelsea win. Again, I'm sorry for stuttering there, I do have a nasty cold. But anyways, now moving straight on to Google's probabilities and might I say it, that these are Google's probabilities at the time of recording, so they are of course bound to change, but they have gone with a 75% chance of a Chelsea victory, a 16% chance of a draw, and a 9% chance of an Aston Villa victory, which in many ways could be seen as harsh, but Google do clearly believe that Chelsea are the favourites for tomorrow's match, and might I say it again, that these are Google's probabilities are at the time of recording, so they are of course bound to change. But now, to conclude this preview, I'm going to give you guys my score prediction, and I've actually gone with the same prediction as Charlie Nicholas. I've actually gone with a 2-1 Chelsea win. I do believe that this will be a very hard game, because Aston Villa have done really well against the top sides um, this season so far. Even though the results may not suggest that they've done well, they really have done well against the top sides. They did very well against Tottenham Hotspur on the first day of the season. They pegged them. Back, um, they kept them at bay for large parts of that game. They did really well against Arsenal and were very unlucky to lose that game. They beat Everton 2-0 and they deserved to win that game. And they were very unlucky to lose 3-0 to Manchester City earlier on in the season because their second goal was actually um, offside, I believe. But yes, they've done really well against the top sides. So we have to take heed and we have to play well. We have to turn up. We have to do everything correctly because if we don't, then Aston Villa could leave Stamford Bridge with the three points and they could take those three points back to Birmingham. So hopefully we turn up, hopefully we play well, hopefully we appease the fans because there are some fans out there who, who are saying Lampard out, which I believe is bloody ridiculous. I almost swore there. That's how that's how bad it is. But yes, I have gone over two um I have gone over two one Chelsea win. Let me know what your score predictions are in the comment section below and you guys shall now know that I will do my very best to respond. But that is it for this preview. I hope you all enjoyed it. Like, comment and subscribe to my channel if you're new and I'll see you all very soon for some more videos. Come on you blues. Come on Frank Campard. Let's get back to winning ways and peace. I'll see you all very soon.